this is, is that Roy Montano in the house? My beloved Roy, hi Roy, I'm so glad you're with us today. We have so many people, new people too. I'm glad you're back. I just have to catch a glimpse of that, uh, that shadow of yours. I'm so glad you're in. Hey, is that a Jeep? That's a Jeep. We are giving away another Jeep. That's right, that's right, that's right. Number seven, if anybody's counting. That's not the number that we're looking for though. Number seven, good, good, good choice, good choice. We put out a midweek video with a number, but that Jeep, that's number seven. It's a 2013, only has 84,000 miles on it, blue and color, beautiful. Uh, it's going to somebody here in, uh, May, on May 7th, the day before Mother's Day. Wouldn't that be a great Mother's Day gift? Going up the wall a little bit as we climb, that is our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Yes, Happy Easter. He is going to wake up here uh, pretty soon, and then we're all going to have a pretty good day tomorrow. Uh, over here, we are separating the seasons. We have winter, and we have spring. It's the changing of the seasons, loved ones. Uh, winter is black, gloomy, snowy, it's not comfortable. Yeah, there's a pregnancy test there. More babies are conceived in November and December. That's a stat that I don't know, somebody could be proud of. Uh, a lot of snow on the ground still. But as we make our way towards spring, you're going to see spring is sprung. Yes, that's right. Uh, if you live in Albuquerque, the allergies are bad. If you live anywhere in the northern hemisphere, it's, it's dusty. I mean, it's just terrible uh, this time of year. But hey, that's the changing of the season. So what do we do with food? Well, today we have a very special food transition for you, loved ones. We're going to start off with soup. Yeah, it's a good winter thing, right? Cream of mushroom. Not just any cream of mushroom. A cream of mushroom not only prepared, but presented a way that you've never seen before, and I guarantee you it'll be the best cream of mushroom that we put to your lips. And then we're going to finish it off with the sandwich of the month. That's right, there's a sandwich of the month. Happens to be the famous BLT. The uh, housewives uh, made that very popular after World War II. A lot of abundance of tomatoes and lettuce and bacon. Uh, it sufficed as a sandwich, or a meal for that matter. We today are going to show you how to make it and keep it at its prime uh, optimum. Um, and you, you don't want to eat a BLT cold. Uh, that's the secret of eating a BLT. It actually has to be a little bit warmer Fahrenheit than room temperature in order for the bacon and everything to gel perfectly. We're going to show you how to do that in, in a presentation format. And by the way, let's get that done. I think that's it as we make our way through. You are welcoming into the new Steve Emery Show. And by the way, welcome in everybody. It is show number... Five two five two. Do you realize it's been a year, exactly a year? We uh, contracted COVID. We missed a couple weeks. We gained a couple weeks. Uh, the lucky number was five two fifty two. Each week, by the way, we are going to now take advantage of that midweek video. I want everybody to participate in that. It's hundred bucks if you get the correct answer to the midweek video question. This uh, week's question, as we sent out a blast without notice, I agree, without notice. Okay, so a little, little bad, but we had 102 comments in our comment section, which is a record. Uh, that's awesome, by the way, and that's what we're looking for. We want that feedback. We want you guys engaged. Engaged. It's got a ring here somewhere. Yeah, engaged. You know what I'm talking about. Engaged. We want you engaged. And so each week, starting Wednesday, Thursday, depending on when George feels like it, uh, we'll have a midweek video uh, up and at him. And there'll be a question worth 100 bucks on the Saturday show. Uh, maybe it'll be about numbers. I don't know. Maybe it'll be about recipes. I don't know. But, you know, we're just kind of figuring ways to give back some of the proceeds that this show uh, or the car dealership in, 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 in uh, inhales through the course of the week. So if you are new to the show, this is the new Seed Hunter show. There's a reason why it is new. Uh, the old one went away. Um, that's a long story. We'll get to that a little bit later. It was a radio show in Phoenix. But if you're new to the show, we have a lot of fun here. It is a cooking show and you're going to see some stuff here that you've never seen before. Taste some stuff. Uh, hopefully make some stuff. Uh, we do have a contest underway. Uh, we had a brunch series prior to this show here. Three parts where we had four entrees. I asked you to take some pictures of tomorrow's festival festivities. We've received some so far. Ethan, God, beautiful job, my brother. God, you're, you guys have done a great job. That is what we call focusing and paying attention. Um, I got those pictures. I'm getting pictures from other people, which is great. Uh, I'm going to write some chats I mean, just for your enthusiasm and, and participation. Um, so that's going to be kind of cool. So we have that uh, underway as well. That will be released next Saturday. I'll release those winners. But we also spend for 200 bucks. If you're in the comment section, you need to go, hey, Steve, I'm here. That just lets me know you're here. What we do, we have Shanna, Shanna, Bodana up there. She'll put your name in a spinner which you'll bring to me at 420. I'll spin some names. I'm going to spin a couple hundred. I'm going to spin a lot of 50s today just to help. You know, I know it's tough out there. It is uh, difficult. I hear it from everybody, uh, myself included. Uh, our business is way off, so if that's any consolation, uh, everybody's off. This is not a great time, but uh, oh well. We're going to try to get through it, and we try our best to help. We're going to throw some spin money, $50, $200, and to top it off, we do give a Jeep away, as I mentioned earlier, uh, every 10 weeks on the show. This one is a 2013, 84 thousand miles blue in color beautiful jeep i've been driving this thing may 7th it's the day before mother's day i think personally 
that would be a wonderful Mother's Day gift to a mom. Not to say we don't have a dad, but you know, Dad's Day is coming up too, by the way. We'll do something special for that. So, with all those announcements, that's good to say. Uh, I just want to say, uh, shout out, Bibby, I know you're watching. Uh, you know, I, I go through the comment section, and Angie, uh, that was really cool. Uh, you look forward to it's, it's your main part of your Saturday, and that is so cool, Angie. I want that. I want people to look forward to 4 o'clock Mountain Time on Saturday and say, oh, it's a half an hour out of my day, but you know, it's entertaining, it's fun, uh, you know, maybe I walk away with a little money, uh, I learn something, I engage with the community. Our community is growing in leaps and bounds, and it's awesome to see those comments. So you guys, uh, and again, as I repeated many times before, this is your show, and so being that it is your show, um, everything about it's yours. I mean, nothing is mine, that's for sure, uh, even though it's got my stinky name attached to it, we had to do something on the YouTube line number seven there, but nonetheless, I think that's it for the announcements. Uh, birthdays, if you've got a birthday coming up, I'd love to shout out birthdays. I'm still looking for those pictures for tomorrow. And so today, we are changing the seasons. Kind of cool, right? The middle of April, it's at tax time if you're a taxpayer. Uh, if you've already got the refund, good for you. Uh, some of us don't get a refund, but uh, we are changing from winter to a spring. Now, we do that uh, every year, obviously, but we're gonna do it with food. Yeah, how, how do we do it with food? We're always trying to figure out ways when God gives me an idea and it's crafted, it's certainly not my idea, that's for sure, uh, it comes through me and, and to you. It's presented in an entree fashion. So for example, we'll take an entree, uh, a Reuben, uh, a BLT, a BLT, and we'll, we'll, we'll prepare it in a way you've never seen probably before. But if you have, uh, then I guarantee you, you've never seen it presented the way we're gonna present it. So I want you to be able to have a party of six, five, four, 10, 20 people over to your house, family, friends get together, maybe the boss, and, and be able to go back and watch these videos and actually grasp, give them that wow effect. And that is what we look for. We look for the wow effect. And that's the takeaway of this show. A little money and, and wow, I can prepare some food and wow somebody with it. And, and again, I, I've said this several times, it's like watching a great movie. You know, you're watching a movie, you come out with a family, you get in the car, and nobody says a word, not a blanket word. You're driving home, it's that good. You're, you're just thinking about the movie. And of course, somebody starts talking, wow, we get, we get the ball going. Like, Wow effect, same thing. When they leave your house after eating your food and uh, seeing this presentation, it's like, wow. And that's what we do. Simple, in 30 minutes we try to do that and uh, have a good time doing it. So today, we are going to craft a menu in relationship to the changing of the seasons. Winter is gone, we're bringing in a soup, we're saying goodbye to a soup. What soup? Well, we have never done a cream of mushroom. Now, a fascinating soup, by the way, mushroom, a fungi. Uh, is, a, is an interesting thing. Uh, you either love cream of mushroom or you hate it. It's, it's one of those things. There's really no gray area in that process. We're gonna make a cream mushroom soup. We're gonna do it the carnivious way uh, as opposed to the vegan way. Vegan would be without any meats. We, uh, we don't like prime rib bones when we make a stock. Just the, the extraction of the marrow uh, from the, the inner of the bone and the fat content and the flavor. It, it just um, it, it, it exhales an outstanding flavor. So we're gonna make a beef stock. We're gonna start with that. We are going to pan sear some uh, prime rib bones. Get those nice and brown and get that marrow extracting. And then we're going to dump it into a beef stock. Now mushrooms are again, canny little critters if you say the least. We have taken the liberty of actually making a mushroom stock with a beef stock. Now what you do there is you get some dried mushrooms and these are those uh, very, very expensive mushrooms by the way, that we uh, bought dehydrated. You put them into the stock water. Uh, they extract a, a flavor that you, you can't believe. Uh, it's gonna be an awesome combination when we combine that beef stock with that mushroom stock. And then we'll uh, caramelize our mushrooms. Yes, yeah, just like our onion soup. We're gonna caramelize our mushrooms. And then we'll add the stock to the caramelized mushrooms, thicken it up with that roux. What is roux again? Equal parts flour and butter, or fat and flour. And then we'll cream it and we'll pour it into a presentation like you've never seen before. And we're going to wow them. The sandwich portion, it is the month of April. The month of April is the BLT, sandwich of the month. Is that or not? The BLT is a secret sandwich uh, in its own right. It has to be eaten perfectly, temperaturally controlled. Is that a word, temperaturally controlled? I don't know. Is that a hummingbird? You know, it, the set here today is incredible, by the way. You see all these little strings, one false move, and I'm nervous as a cat, literally, because one false move, this whole thing could come down. So I'm just warning you, fair warning, it's a live show, by the way. We don't do anything uh, half half butt here. And so if it does come down, if the show is over, we'll announce that uh, without further ado. However, the hummingbird is 
feeding on a nectar glaze of red, uh, hanging from a artificial ceiling with a mirror that's down from about five weeks or maybe six weeks ago. Uh, and the sets, you get the yellow umbrella, and that's spring, baby! That's right, we got the uh, monarch butterflies, and we got the gloom and doom, and the sandwich, the BLT. As I was saying, the BLT has to be eaten at a certain temperature. If it's cold, the bacon gets crispy and cold, the fat content kind of kind of connects, it's not good. The roof of your mouth starts getting a little slippery, you know what I'm saying, bro, you know what I'm saying? So you don't want that. You want a perfectly edible sandwich. So when that goes into your orifice, uh, it, it's just going to melt like uh, a soft banana wood. And, and that's hard to do when you've got all those ingredients. You've got cold lettuce. Um, McDonald's tried this years ago. They had the Big Mac or whatever. They had that se separate side deal. It didn't work out. It's very difficult to do. There's only one way to really do it, and you're going to see how that's done today. Uh, on the carousel is the final presentation. We used to do this uh, in a segment, but we, we're going to show it to you now. This is how you are going to actually produce a single serving to your guests. You're going to give them the cream of mushroom soup, and you're going to give them the... Uh, BLT brochette uh, on a rotisserie. Now, uh, this literally would spin around. I'm going to light some candles on the outer edges of this. You'll notice the palm trees. That's a carrot. You take a carrot and you basically uh, take your razor blade and you flare that carrot uh, into the looks of a palm tree. Uh, if I had time, I would have found some filbert nuts and put those around there aka coconuts. Uh, but anyways, it's a skewer going across your BLT perfectly and flawlessly woven together with just your BLT, the finest bacon, lettuce, and tomato with some mayonnaise on a nice sourdough bread that's been toasted. You put that skewer together, you skewer that in between two pieces of carrot, and you've got your pineapple leaves that act as your, your palm leaves, if you will. And as you spin that around, you think, wow, now that, that's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. It's actually something you'll never see. It's two pineapples that have been fused together uh, and leveled out on the carousel. Uh, and again, uh, just a, an amazing. Now you're looking at that mushroom. I, know, I see you looking at that mushroom. Like, what that's all about? Well, in high school, we used to eat those. No, that was, <laughs> that's a long time ago. Uh, these are actually for edible consumption, and it's awesome. We're going to light some burners. Uh, if you're new to the show and you've never seen this before, yeah, this is like going camping with Uncle Steve, uh, literally. Um, we do everything portable here. This is a portable cooking show. Uh, compliments of Coleman, uh, the camping expert. Uh, basically what we do here, we take a desk uh, that is transformed into a sales office, or I should say a sales office transformed into a kitchen uh, on, a, on a Saturday morning, and boom, here we have a portable. Bottom line is, I just want to show you, loved ones, that you can do this anywhere. We did this on a truck of a car once up in the mountains. Fettuccine Alfredo was pretty cool. I mean, literally. So food is so fun. You can have so much great time with fun food, mixing the seasons, mixing the, the stuff. For example, next week, and I know I'm talking a lot, that's what I do here. Uh, next week is National Picnic Day, the 23rd of April. And so you're going to see this whole office transform into a picnic uh, ground. I'm going to put grass in. Oh, it's going to be crazy. Yeah. Huh? No, not that kind of smoke. I'm talking about green grass. Cool. Green grass. The green grass that we put on the, on the table is going to look just like a park. That'd be cool. That's next. Week. All right, so here we go. We're lighting the burns. What we have here, we have the uh, the stock. Now, for time constraints, obviously, uh, I told you we're combining the beef and the mushroom stock together, which we've eloquently so done in this pot here. We're going to caramelize our mushrooms. Okay, now what kind of mushroom seed? Let's get a mushroom education on the board here while we're talking. Okay, so we have uh, the mushroom education. The mushroom, uh, basically, it's the same mushroom. It's the same species of mushroom. It's a button mushroom. If you get that camera right there, that is a, a mushroom. You find this in the northern hemisphere. You find it everywhere, actually. It, it grows in a meadow or a grass type of uh, construction. Uh, they pop up, and they're basically about 24 hours to 36 hours old when you see them this uh, color and this size. Now, uh, I don't recommend going and picking these out of a park, but we used to do that quite often. Uh, Agaricus campestris is the um, Latin, I believe that would be, uh, name for it. So they start out as a button mushroom, a little white mushroom there. And then about a week later, they turn brown. What is that? Well, that's a cremini. It's a cremini mushroom, but it's also that button mushroom, just a little bit older. Wrinkles, baggy eyes, like you see here, kind of deal. Now, and then the final grand finale is the portobello. I bet you didn't know this, but the portobello mushroom is originated originally from the button mushroom. It's just about, could be a week to three weeks old, depending on uh, climate and, and so on, and soil and, and so on and so forth. But that is the same mushroom, loved ones. So what kind of mushrooms do we use in this soup? You can use all three. That's what I basically put in here. Uh, as we are spinning around, cooking away here, we are caramelizing these mushrooms. Uh, 
And what size should I keep them? Should I mince them? Sometimes I see them, literally somebody's taking that drill and gone zzz, and just pureed them into nothing. Well, I don't like that. I, when I bite into a cream of mushroom soup, uh, I, wanna, I wanna know I got a mushroom, not some kind of a black, a black speck, if you will. So we're gonna have uh, nothing but a beautiful uh, chunks or pieces, shall we, of the three, which again is the original. Now, yeah, what's this one? You don't wanna touch that one. If you ever see the red, and there's a lot of names for this, and I uh, to pronounce it properly. This is uh, made from an egg. I've taken a hard-boiled egg, and I've emulated and kind of recrafted that uh, poisonous mushroom. You'll see that also in many areas of the Northern Hemisphere. What is that? Well, it is a very, very poisonous mushroom. The deer and the wildlife of the community won't even touch that mushroom. Uh, it is an extremely poisonous mushroom. Now, I bet you didn't know this about mushroom soup, and especially this one. Uh, if you were to boil that down and take the toxins out, I'm told, it is the most flavorful, fiberistic piece of something you'll ever put in your mouth. And the little after effect, shall we say, um, that you receive from it is horrific. Meaning, not where you're going to get sick or die, but you're going to feel a feeling like you've never felt before. Now, yeah, oh yeah, I got that feeling when I did those mushrooms in high school. I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not talking about those kind of mushrooms. But literally, if you take a, a mushroom of that caliber and you properly prepare it, my research tells me and some people tell me that it is a, a, a masterful high of flavor, content, and obviously, you know, what else. But anyways, that is the poisonous mushroom. Uh, we've also made some little portobello mushrooms by taking an avocado butt, the butt of an avocado, <laughs> hacking that bad boy off, and putting it also on a hard-boiled egg platform uh, as a toadstool. So you can decorate your table however you want. Uh, time, again, is, 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 is a problem for me. My time is very limited, but I wanted to show you a couple uh, decorations of food, again, everything being edible, that we produce here. So the butt mushroom, Grab what you want there. You can grab the cremini. Um, you can grab whichever. The dried mushroom is a sole, uh, sole and separate, uh, very expensive mushroom that we use basically for the stock. I'm not going to really get into detail on that right now. But the cremini, that's the brown one. Uh, obviously, that's the uh, homemade toadstool and its poisonous uh, counterpart. Um, and the button mushroom. All in one mushroom, all one species. Okay, so now we are ready to take the caramelized mushrooms, the stock that has been added, okay? And we're going to tighten it up now, thicken it up. Uh, any soup of, of cream nature um, should be tightened to some degree. Now, what do you tighten it with? Well, a lot of people use water and flour. There's a lot of lumps in that. Uh, I'm a roux guy from way back. Roux is, uh, as you know, if you've been a fan of the show or um, um, a part of the show since day one or any part of it, you know roux is nothing more than melting butter down and adding equal amounts of flour. So flour and butter basically is your combination for your roux. What that will do will tighten you up and give you a consistency in which the, um, lets you know that the cream is being uh, next by putting coffee. So as you see, I try to get that out of the way of the camera. Uh, and I'll go over this. We have a camera right here that's going to show everything a little better. So we're going to go ahead and tighten that up a little bit. As we tighten that up, all we're doing is just bringing the stock and the caramelized mushrooms into a consistency that is going to be heaven. We're in heaven. Oh, look at that. That is just absolutely. If you're seeing that, we're going to turn that off because that's actually pretty hot. We're going to spin that around a little bit. This is uh, going to be soup for uh, probably close to six, as we always do. As we whip this together, we're just marrying this and incorporating the roux factor into the stock factor, into the caramelized mushroom factor. And voila, there we have it. That is a beautiful, now I guarantee you that's going to be the best you taste, but we're not done. No, we got to add the cream. We're going to fold that cream into it, a heavy, heavy whipping cream gets folded into that blended in and then we're going to present that in our grand finale uh, <laughs> carousel here you'll see where that goes you see a mushroom center stage of those two fused pineapples yes that is correct you've got about five minutes to get your name into the comments section if you haven't done so already and you're new to the show it's the Steve Henry show or the new one the old one yeah it was a old, uh, no, 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 no. Uh, the new one and by doing so put your name in the spin i'm going to give away a lot of money today I, I feel the need to do so it's easter uh perhaps you can still get to the store and uh, make something for the family at easter that's kind of what my thought process is here some um, knowing that you've got money coming in the mail um this week uh, i believe montana swagger montana you're the only one I, I don't have a check out for because of an address this is very important loved ones i can't send you a check you can't win money you can't do anything on this show if i don't know who you are and how to get to you the new steve henry show.com that's what you got to do it's simple get there put your name in there 
uh, I believe it's email. We don't ask for much. I mean, we ask for the bare bone basics. We don't use it for any other uh, marketing ploy. And by the way, we get knocked on all the time. People are knocking on my door wanting this. I promise you and I, 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 I assure you, your name will never be given out to anybody for marketing purposes or any purposes whatsoever. This is a very private community and it's going to stay that way. So you need to go though. You need to get there the new stevehenryshow.com and put that name in there. And so we can, we know who you are. So on Monday, when I sit down and I go through all the red tags, and I'm going to go through a lot of them this week, I know who you are and I'll send you out a little money. Show hasn't started making any money yet. Uh, that's another thing. Watch the videos, share the videos, watch those commercials. That's how you two operates. Yeah, we hate it, but it's a platform uh, of which we have to uh, uh, crawl upon in order to produce the show and to get our content out there. Uh, their rules basically, yeah, we'll give you a, a little crumb here and a crumb there. This is what you got to do. You got to watch the commercials. You got to play the videos. You got to share it. All that. I'm, I'm, I'm pleading with you to do so because that really will help us. Uh, the spinner has arrived. That means money. Okay, but we're not done. We got to put some cream in this thing. Uh, get the camera's ready. So just in recapping this uh, corner over here, we got Mr. B. Pollen up here. I'm not sure why he's there. He's probably covering a booger on the wall. Not mine though. Not mine! Okay, uh, we have the stock. We have the beef stock and the mushroom um, reduction. We took those dried mushrooms, put them in water. We strained them through cheesecloth, got the, got the best broth of mushroom. I'm telling you, I could literally drink that by itself. That mushroom uh, stock was incredible. Then on top of that, we braised these beautiful prime rib bones and we got all the content from that. We put the bones in into that stock. We simmered that down for a couple hours. We extracted the bones and now we are left with that stock. That stock went into the caramelized mushrooms, which uh, by the way, we used avocado oil and a little butter to caramelize those mushrooms. I'm just gonna pour a little dab of cream in here. What this will do, this is kind of like pouring cream in coffee, loved ones. It's going to uh, change the color, obviously, to the color that we want. We want that, um, we want that color. It's hard to describe the color because it's kind of brown, uh, but we're gonna just give it our best here. Uh, we don't want to put too much in there because, again, it's just like coffee and cream. Uh, some people will say, you didn't heat it up. You didn't scald it. Well, you don't have to. It's whipping cream. Whipping cream is resilient. Uh, you can heat that up again. And this is the absolute consistency and everything that we're looking for here. Oh, man. And I'll tell you, this is going to be, without a doubt, the finest cream of mushroom soup you have and ever will want to put to your lips. That is, that consistency is just amazing. Uh, you could put some scallions in there if you want. You can chop parsley. I like it plain. I just want my mushroom to be as plain as possible. So when I bite into a mushroom or a cream of mushroom soup, I'm just gonna savor that like a fine bottle of cake bread Chardonnay. 19, now ah, let's go to 2004, it was a good year. All right, so what do we do with this? What's left here, Steve, before we spin? Okay, I know we're running low on time. We are gonna take the cap, let's get this off here. We use gloves, yes we do, uh, for obvious reasons. We're gonna take the gloves off, we're gonna take and remove the cap. Oh my God, what do we have here? Yes, we have, it's gonna be kind of tough to get into, but let me tell you, when you do get in there, and you do surface and you put your soup in there, this is your, it's not much, but they're gonna come back for seconds, thirds, fourths, fifths, and sixths. We're going to put literally a, about a four ounce, maybe five ounce uh, portion. I'll keep it real simple. We'll put another ounce in there. And so what is that? That is careful, that wire there, right there. You're on it right there, yeah. Okay, so what that is, and light that candle. What that is, loved ones, is nothing more than a portobello mushroom that we have taken the liberty of hollowing out. We have pan seared it in a little garlic butter, so it's got a little bit of flavor. You're gonna wanna eat that at the very end. What? Yeah, everything here on the Steve Henry Show is edible. Now, you always wanna have possibly a, a spray bottle of water handy. That's always sometimes good, you know, keep everything nice and fresh. I like to uh, rejuvenate things a little bit here. Um, just a tad, just to keep everything nice, nice and fresh. But as you see, we're going to put the cap back on that soup and then we're gonna spin that around for you and you'll see the whole effect or you'll get the whole effect of it. What you have here is a cream of mushroom soup. Here is our spoon and we're gonna induce a spoon. I put a notch in there, right there. Well, I'll put it over on the side for now. Uh, a spoon and so you've got, isn't that beautiful? That, loved ones, I guarantee you, if you were to go to someone's house or your house of yours, and you were to prepare this this way, two pineapples fused together with a stuffed portobello mushroom, that is the aged button mushroom, and uh, the candles on both sides is keeping that BLT 
perfectly warm. Uh, I mean, as you eat that, uh, you're basically getting that bacon back up to a temperature where it's gonna be conducive to the roof of your mouth. Uh, and as you spin that around, you just see the full effects. Uh, I made a little mess here, so you got a little cream of mushroom uh, as I spilled there. But as they lift that cap off, again, uh, very simple to do, you know, again, just lift the cap off and see that steam come off there? It's gonna stay nice and warm in your, uh, and I could put some more soup on this side. Uh, sometimes it's a little easier if you do it that way. And there we go. And that's gonna put the candle out. That's okay, that's kind of what we want to do. Here we have it. And we'll put the cap back on to keep that nice and warm. So that, you're thinking, wow, that's kind of cool, yeah. That's wow, baby! That's what I call the Steve Henry Show wow effect. When you put cream of mushroom soup into a uh, presentation such as this, uh, the palm and the, um, and how do you get the the, uh, the BLT off? See, well, you just take the BLT off and you start eating. It's quite simple uh, with your favorite beverage. Love ones, this is cream of mushroom and this is the BLT. This is the changing of the seasons from winter to spring. It is now time to give away a little money. So everyone, oh, look at those numbers. You guys, I love you guys. Uh, we're gonna make a little room here <clears throat> and we are going to give away a little money. We love giving some money away. Thank you for the spinner. Now, if you're new to the show, the spinner works like this. If uh, a name should fall out through the crack, which it does occasionally, I grab that one. We spin for 200 bucks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 times. I say this and I say this with all sincerity one day uh, when this show is profitable and we are in the black as opposed to red uh, and the finances are flowing, it's all going back to you. So right now, imagine this and I say this again, uh, we're not making money yet, but if we were, can you imagine? So we're giving away what we give away now based on what we can do. But there will come a day when I sit here, I hope, sit a chair till seven o'clock spinning names and putting the money back to you because it is your show and I love you. All right, here we go. Without further ado, it's $200. Hee bitty hee bitty hee bitty hee bitty hee hee. And there is one sticking out. Oh, he went back in. Ah, uh, he went back in. All right, so let's read. This is up for. This is for $200. They tell me to close that bad boy up. $200, the first recipient of $200. And I really do hope this helps. Like I said, Easter's coming tomorrow. But, but aside from that, I, I know what's going on out there and it's hard. It's hard for all of us. And hopefully it changes someday uh, soon. Um, but you know, until then, I'm here for you. Leo Richard, congratulations, my good friend. You are the recipient of the first $200. Leo Richard, a good, good, good participant of the show. Leo, thank you. Um, your participation, um, you, the, the, the people that you brought to the show, uh, I can't say enough. I'm so grateful um, as I sit down and, and think about how wonderful you people are. Uh, Leo Richard being one of them. The next one for $200. Here we go, around and around she goes. All right, I'm gonna do something kind of different here. I'm gonna go way over to the left. I'm just gonna do the last one on the left here. This little guy's always left out, okay? Uh, this is for 200 bucks, then we're gonna get serious. We're gonna spin like, uh, heaven's nature. By the way, happy Easter, everybody. Happy, happy Easter, happy Easter. Uh, for those of you that follow Easter in its true fashion, it's a glorious day coming tomorrow morning. All right, here we go. We are talking about, oh, you know what? This is very cool. You've never won on this show before and you're a great customer of mine. I've known you for a long time. You go by Kay Nache, but I know who you are. Kay Nache, $200, congratulations. And thank you for being on the show and thank you for being such a great, participant. You're, 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 you're not only a great participant, you're a great customer. All right, so what we do next is we just reach in here and we pull out a handful, a handful of names. Look at this wide, wide handful. It's a lot of people. Is this not cool though? Is this not cool? Two palm trees separated by a skewered brochette of BLT, the sandwich of the month, by a cream of mushroom soup stuffed with a portobello mushroom. Look at that bad boy. The steam is still coming off that. Everything's staying nice and warm. We'll put that thing out. I'll burn myself first. There we go. All right, but you get the drift. Is that not cool? I thank God for what he does in, in, in blessing me in these things. Okay, 50 bucks. I know it's not a lot, but hey, it'll put some gas in your car, maybe fill your tank up, put a smile on your face. Just know that you're loved, and that's all that matters. You're loved. You really are loved by this show. Heather Hamlin. Oh, wonderful. I know you can use this. And by the way, Heather, thank you for coming back to the show. We all missed you big time. You came over from Taylor months ago. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, loved ones, Heather Hamlin won our first Jeep. Uh, we went to Utah about uh, 14 or 15 months ago and delivered our very first white Jeep. Uh, unfortunately, that Jeep and her were in a horrific accident uh, about a month ago. Uh, thank thankfully, she survived. Thankfully, her kids weren't in the car. But uh, congratulations. Heather Hamlin, 50 bucks. Matt Clary, 50 bucks. Matt Clary, 50 bucks. That's awesome. Hello, Josh Hart. I see you now. You're not winning. I'm just saying, hey, Brad Kendall's here in the house today. Wow. There's Heather Jesse. Oh, I love him. Roxanne. 
Yanny, how old Yanny? God, we love you, Yanny. You're always there. Oh my gosh, look at that. Dell Maverick. Hey, Dell, I don't know how many people you got over at your house today. Jesse, oh my God, Ryan. Ryan's in the house. Uh, Ethan, a seed. Oh my God, you guys are awesome. Look at you, just spinning around. All right, I just want to say hi to a few people. That's very cool. And by the way, uh, Bibby, I know you're in the house. Um, Corley, maybe you're in the house today. Corley from Tucson, that's a cool restaurant. Um, French Bistro. We're gonna get maybe pretty good, I think. If you're in the house watching today, I want to say hi to Corley. All right, Mary Thomas. Didn't you just win last week? I think you did, or the week before. Mary Thomas is a winner of 50 bucks. Who else? Who else? Lucia, Lucio Roca, Roca, Lucia Roca. Oh, don't knock that camera. Oh my God, you know what? You're gonna really like this. This is gonna be good. I'm gonna use this as a credit. Me, M-Y-O-B, M-Y-O-B. Yeah, you're watching, I know you are. Hello, John, how are you? You just got yourself a $50 bill. That's gonna be a credit towards you. You betcha, we love you. Oh my God, you know what? <laughs> I'm gonna come to, I think it's it's uh, it's Arizona. I'm not sure exactly where. I'm gonna pick you up, no pun intended. We're just gonna go to the casino. That's it, Jenny. We're just gonna go to the casino because you are the luckiest girl I think I've ever met. Uh, what little bit of money I have left and your good luck, I think we're gonna go to the casino. Jenny is a winner of 50 bucks. And the last one for today. The last one for today, Alan Hoffer. Alan Hoffer is a winner of $50. Loved ones, that is our giveaway today. That is our show for today. Cream of mushroom soup. That's the button mushroom, the cremini, the portobello, all in one as, as it became crafted as one. And the lovely BLT skewered. Oh, look at that again. That's gorgeous. Uh, next week, you don't want to miss it. It's going to be the National Picnic Day. We're going to lay, literally lay a picnic out in here. What do you see when I come up with a picnic? Uh, dog poop? And, oh, no, maybe not. Well, yeah, you can't have a park party without that. Well, I don't know. I just came to crazy thoughts come to me. I love every uh, every one of you. Watch our midweek video. Before you tune out, please pay attention. Heads up. Our midweek video is becoming extremely profitably important to you. And the reason for that is we are going to be giving you a question which we'll reveal on Saturday. Uh, unfortunately, nobody got that one. It was 52. It's our 52nd show in a row. We've never missed a show no matter what, uh, which is pretty cool. Next week's question will be something similar. You know, you're going to have to come up with, you're going to have to watch some videos. Hey, there's a thought. Uh, but watch our midweek video. You'll get that email blast on Wednesday or Thursday, respond to it in the comment section of that video. It's only a two minute video. Uh, it gives you the uh, preview of what's coming on the Saturday show. And uh, somebody's gonna win some money there too. We've got a cheap giveaway in three weeks. You don't wanna miss that. Make sure you're in the stevehundershow.com email. And just know that you're loved. Get through the week and have a happy Easter tomorrow. Just take some time and just enjoy your family. That's what it's all about. I love you. I'll see you next week. Thanks for coming in. Do -do -do -do.